This is Headlines from Palestine. I'm Chris Smiley with If Americans Knew. On Thursday, Israeli settlers from the illegal settlement Yitzar, just south of Nablus in the West Bank, cut down 20 Palestinian olive trees owned by Qasem Najjar. Destroying olive trees is recognized as a strategy of Israel's occupation and takeover of the West Bank and Gaza Strip. Since 1967, over 800,000 Palestinian olive trees have been destroyed by Israeli authorities and settlers. Olive oil is a key product of the Palestinian economy. And in terms of total agricultural production, olives are the largest, making up 25% of the total agricultural production in the West Bank. The destruction of olive trees is in fact a violation of the Geneva Convention. It is prohibited to attack, destroy, remove, or render useless objects indispensable to the survival of a civilian population, such as crops, livestock, and drinking water. And this goes for any motive, whether it's to starve civilians or to cause them to move away. Uprooting and destroying olive trees, which are part of the livelihoods of many Palestinians, is a way for Israel to push people off of their lands, many times destroying crop fields to make way for Israeli settlements. The Israeli Ministry of Settlement on Wednesday announced a new settlement plan in the Jordan Valley. As of right now, there are 20 settlements in the Jordan Valley, which house about 4,000 settlers. On Thursday, Israeli soldiers arrested nine Palestinians in several cities in the West Bank after invading and ransacking their homes. Some were children like Ali Hamdan, as young as 14 years old. The latest arrests bring the number of Palestinians taken prisoner to more than 500 since the December 6th announcement from President Trump. That's all for today. Please share this video and catch us next time for more news from Palestine.